Hello and welcome back to MJ Golf Cards and welcome back to Bearhaven Golf Club in County Cork, Ireland, where I am playing the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth holes. So ahead of us, we have a long par four, we have a short par four, and we have a testy little par three. Hope you enjoy. So this is the fourth hole, and it's, it's a long par four. It's 380 meters. It's index two, and for the back nine, this hole actually becomes a par five. Um, off the summer tees, not off the winters. Uh, sorry, off the winters it does as well, it becomes a par five. But for the front nine, it's a very long par four. We're basically going straight out right of this pole is the line to the green. So it's a straight hole, but you do have some trees on the left hand side and you've got some trees on the right hand side over here, just to be aware of. Yeah, caught that one well, that's bounding down there. Very happy with that tee shot. So you can just see some of the drainage work here that has been done in the fourth fairway, and this is massively improved, this fairway. Um, this was quite a wet area in here before, but now it's lovely and dry, and it's just been a very positive thing uh, that was done by the club, and it's really, really improved this hole. Okay, so very happy with that drive. Um, I left myself. 180 yards into the flag so that's what i mean it's it is a long long hole and we have in front of the green just beside that tree that you can see um there's like a pond and a stream crossing so you do need to hit a good shot to get over that to get beside the green um, and it is a small green to hit as well so it's a very very tough little hole it's, it's a very good hole though. Um, I'm going to hit in a little four iron. Uh, short right of the green, I think. So this is where I ended up, just short right of the green. As you can see, it is a very small little green. Um, it's tough to chip this, so I'm just going to just try and hit a little pitching wedge. Land it just short and hopefully it'll maybe run up a little bit. Oh, it's just a little short. I've actually played that exactly how I want it. Just didn't come off as good as I wanted. Okay, so at least I've left myself a par put. Um, seems to be coming a little bit in from the right hand side. I know there's probably locals watching this and they're telling me it comes a lot in from the right hand side or it's a straight put, but anyway. It's the joys of playing a, a course you don't usually play is you get to try out all these things for the first time. Oh yes. Really, really happy with that par. So fifth hole, par four, 274 meters, index 17. And the green is just up there. You can just see the flag. It's just up on top of the hill. Obviously you've got trees on the left side, danger. You've got a cluster of trees here on the right hand side, which is danger as well. Unless you're a really, really long hitter and I think you can possibly be past them, but uh, the main thing is to, you can either lay it up to the bottom of the hill down here, or you can just get as far up the hill as you want. You know what? I'm really, really happy with how I'm hitting this driver. That was a good tee shot again. Okay, so I caught that well. Um, I've only got about 40 yards left into the flag. Um, you can just see the flag just here, the green. So you're coming over the brow of that hill and you've just got to be careful that it doesn't run on too much. But at the same time, you have to give it enough to, to get there because it's very easy to leave it short on a little shot like that. So I'm just going to throw my 56 up there. 
and hopefully enough but not too much oh yeah happy enough with that okay so left myself maybe 10 foot for the birdie but um I mean I'm happy enough with that from back there birdie chance within 10 foot you'd always be happy with that see if I can get it get myself back to level power would be nice I don't believe it it hit the top of the cup and bounced back out you know I was thinking looking at the cup that it was a little high but anyway par we'll take it okay so the sixth hole is the first par three we come to in the course it's 141 meters and it's index nine and it's pretty easy to see it that's your green right there so let's see how we get on with this one okay so we got the wind coming from right to left here just gonna try and hit it a little seven iron in there. Hope I make good contact with it. Wow, just short. That's amazing. Okay, so I just came up short there. In the air, that looks so good, but uh, just came up a little bit short. It's a tough little chip to kind of know what to do with it. I think I'm just going to take my 56. Looks to be sloping away a little bit at the front of the green. So I'm just going to try and throw this um, just past the fringe of the green hopefully and let it roll out. Hmm, didn't roll out as much as I thought it would. Anyway par put coming up okay so this is what I have left for my par this seems to be coming in from the right hand side a little bit um, that's not ideal I'd like it to have been shorter but anyway no use crying over spin spilled milk oh solid happy with that Take that any day. Okay, and that ends part two of Bearhaven Golf Club. We're now coming into, in the summer, what will be uh, three of the most amazing finishing holes you could play, but for the winter, the seventh hole is a totally different hole. But join me again for part three uh, when I play the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth. And I hope to see you then.